Hello everyone, so here we are back with the final look on this really cool GPO 746 in the two-tone green colour. This particular example is from 1971, um, and it's a Mark I model, as I mentioned in my first look video. And basically that just means that it has a slightly different case to the later ones. The cradle has this continuous slope like that. The later 746 case had a little bump, which was sort of squared off and raised at the front of the cradle there in this sort of section um, and basically that stopped the handset from sliding forward like that when it was on the cradle it wouldn't move so that's a little modification that the GPO made so while we're in this vicinity here we'll take a look at the dial I lubricated it and it uh, has a much smoother sound to it now it doesn't have that scratchy sound that it originally did. As you can hear it sounds much smoother. So let's just take a quick look around the back of the phone. So here you can see we have the carry handle so you can quite conveniently carry the phone if you're walking about talking on the phone or if you need to move it to another location. And you can see underneath the handle there we have little cutouts there. Now I'm not really sure what these are for, they might be might um, help the phone breathe if any of the components get warm inside which is probably unlikely but I have another um, idea of what these holes might be for. When you have a, um, a switch on the top here, um, the 746 could have two buttons in this um, rectangular section here um, or just a single button and this originally had a, when I got this anyway, a bell on off switch which I have removed. I've removed the switch and the um, plunger for it and just put the original dummy cover back over it. But the when you have a switch in here, um, there's two metal pins that hold the plunger in place. And these holes at the back here um, help for you to remove those. Um, because if you slide a small flathead screwdriver through those holes, it perfectly lines up with the pins that hold a button there. So it's, um, I think that's probably why they are there, um, to assist the removal of a plunger, if there is one fitted. Which, in this case, there isn't. So, let's take a look at the handset. It's a nice design, the 700 series handset. Um, it's very comfortable to hold and I just love the styling of it. Here you can see the receiver and there's the transmitter or the microphone. So I'll just unscrew the receiver cap so you can have a look at the date. So hopefully that's picking up. Where are we? So as you can see there, it's just here. It's made by STC which is New Southgate, London, and the original date of the receiver there, which is 70. I'm trying to get it in a light where you can see it better. There we go, that's picking up a lot better. There we go, STC 70. So that's the original uh, receiver capsule to the phone. Let's take a look at the transmitter. It has a nice sort of cup design. So it's the original carbon one, and again, that's made by STC in 1970. So this phone hasn't really been messed around with that much. The only thing that had been done to this phone when I got it was that it had a modern line card on, which was a, um, it was like a grey colour. And I think BT did fit those to these phones when they were sent back for refurbishment. Uh, in the later days, in the 80s, because um, obviously this is a 1970s model and it would have been hardwired. Um, but I think the BT line card had been fitted by a um, just a regular consumer at some point because the phone hadn't been actually updated to BT's standards, which is good for me as a collector. <laughs> but anyway, I've fitted a matching line card. This is the colour of line card that it would have had originally but as you can see it has the modern 
431A BT plug instead of the um, the grommet and um, wires with the spade connectors. Um, so of course that's ready for um, modern use. And it's a 3 metre line cord, so it's a decent length. The handset cord I remoulded with the old trick of the knitting needle and a hairdryer, and it gets them from all stretched out and scraggly looking back to looking brand new. So that's really cool. So I think the only other thing to show you is the base, but before I do I'll just show you the number card. I fitted a, uh, a blank one there. Um, I can't remember the number card it had originally. Um, oh yes, it was a um, an earlier style for like a 300 series or a very early 706, um, which obviously wasn't period correct for this phone, but that's the number card that this phone would have had. So let's take a look. You can see that there, it's upside down. So it's a model 746F. The F stands for figured, meaning that it just has a numeric dial. There's no um, letters around the bezel here. If it had letters around the um, bezel there, it would be a 746L, L standing for lettered. So, this way again. Um, so it's made by the manufacturer SPK, which is uh, Plezy, is it? Or Pleasley, however you pronounce that. Which is um, Speak, I think, Liverpool. Speak, S-P-E-K-E. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, 71 is the date that it was manufactured. And if I hold it in the right light here, you might just be able to see, you can just see it there, where it says GPO, just there. So that's the, uh, it's a bit faded. You can just about see that. And that's... Um, the stamp from when it was originally rented. You can see it better from here. There you go. Can't make out the number, but anyway, they would stamp that when the phone is installed um, and a subscriber was renting it. So you can just see the double gong bells there and uh, the feet all intact, which is very good. So all in all, this phone's in very good condition. There's some very light um, discoloration, but you know you can't really tell. And with it being a two-tone phone, it doesn't really stand out that much, which is good. So I think that's all there is to show you on this. Um, so I'll get it plugged in and uh, give you a quick demonstration of it. Okay then, so the phone's plugged in and ready to go. So let's first start by giving you a demonstration of an outgoing call. So here we go. So there's the dial tone. So there you go. And finally, I will give you a demonstration of an incoming call. So, without further ado, here goes. So there we go, that's a classic GPO ring there. You, If you've um, not heard one of these phones for years and you've stumbled across this video, um, you'll probably remember that from back in the day, or all the old British TV shows and films, etc. 
and it's just such a classic sound and um, very iconic and it's got a lovely ring this phone and it's generally in very good condition but anyway that's everything I have to show you on this particular phone so if you enjoyed please like um, comment if you wish and uh, I'll see you again in the next video which whatever that will be so thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon take care Hello, this is Maine, 9641. Ah, Mrs. Laidbetter, how nice of you to call.